Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, so time for the Monday motivation message. First of all, I wanna make sure that you guys have taken a look at the Power Through Transition Summit that's starting today. And it's going through, I believe, Wednesday. Um, it's something that I'm so excited I got invited to speak in and uh, talk about mindset through transition. And this is for anybody who's looking for a change in their life, anybody who's trying to figure out what's next and how do I get there. And there are a series of really, really powerful speakers through this uh, free online summit. So I'm gonna post the link above if you didn't see it already. You can still register very easily. You'll get a list of when the speakers are uh, online and you can go watch them. And then I'll let you guys know when my session is up as well. So make sure you sign up for that. We can all use some coaching and motivation as we look to the next stage in our life. And speaking of that, and speaking of transition and what's next, you know, this is the time of the year where we're looking towards a new year and we think about setting goals and dreaming about what's next in our life. Some of us do that all year long. Other people really focus on it as the new year comes, understandably. I wanna to talk to you about one specific thing related to setting goals and chasing your dreams with your gifts, talents, and your purpose. It's really important that you're careful about who you share this with. Now, this is something that I have personal experience with, and if you each stop and think about it, you probably do as well. Have you ever shared a goal, a personal dream, a desire with the wrong person, with someone who didn't react the way you were hoping, with someone who sort of shot it down or was negative or was not really you know feeling your energy about it and kind of just dissuaded you it's happened to all of us now i'm not talking about that person who tries to give you constructive criticism or tries to point you in the right direction or challenges you to think through these decisions i'm talking about the wet blanket person who just sort of kills it and we all have these people in our lives. They're not bad people, they're just not your people when it comes to sharing your dreams. So I want you to think about as you, as you look towards the next year and as you're developing goals and dreams, and first of all, I hope that you're doing that because we all always wanna be going up to the next level in our life and we can always get ourselves uh, set to experiencing something bigger and greater. But as you're thinking that through, be careful who you share it with. Be careful, treat it as though it's a gift. When you have something in your heart and in your mind that you wanna accomplish, and even if it's just overcoming limiting beliefs that you have, even if it's something, you know, something as simple as trying to change a habit in your life, or maybe it's a huge goal and a huge dream, be careful who you share it with. We are meant to share with people, but share with the right people. Because if you share with someone who has a small mindset about that particular goal or dream in your life, they will effectively kill it for you. It's that much difficult then for you, more difficult for you to achieve it. That's the truth of it, because we need to be surrounded by support. So who are you going to, first of all, share that dream with? Be careful. And then second, second to that is who are you looking for for support to develop it? And in that case, it comes in a combination of friends and colleagues and people that you just go to coffee with and, and share things with and vice versa and help each other. But also who is your coach? Who is your coach in your life? I believe all of us need to hire, and I say hire a coach in some way to achieve our goals and our dreams. If you don't put the time, if you don't put the resources, the money behind what you wanna do, it won't happen. It just won't, it hasn't happened yet, right? So. If you want to get to that next level in your life, if you want to achieve that which you have yet to achieve, you need to surround yourself with the right people and you need to put an investment in it. But let's go back to sharing the dream again, because that is the main point of this quick video. There is a story in the Bible about a character named Joseph in Genesis. He has a dream. Okay, this is a literal dream, but let's use it as like a dream for your life, a dream for a goal. He has a dream and in that dream, it shows him being uh, lording over or governing over all of his brothers. And he wakes up from that dream, which was a prophetic dream. It was actually going to come to pass in his life eventually. The mistake he makes, he shares that dream with the wrong people. He tells his brothers, the very people that the dream showed him he would be governing over, he shares the dream with them. Not only do they try to kill the dream, they literally try to kill him. 
they sell him into slavery. And ultimately what happens with that is it's used to bring him to that high position where he is governing over them and he shows them mercy years and years later, but he goes through a lot of difficult times. But the nugget of that big story, that little piece of it, is that he shared his dream with the wrong people and he paid a price. So this is not about bad people. This is not about good people. This is about who are your people and be careful. Don't run at the mouth so easily about what you want to accomplish in your life. Be measured about it. Figure out who, who your people are. Go to that personal board of directors podcast that I did. Think about those people in your life. Think about those that are friends, those that are colleagues, and also those who you are literally putting an investment in and expecting you know, to receive from them accountability. Who are you using in your life to take you to the next level? As we set our goals for 2020, that's a big piece of it that many, many people forget. They forget to be careful who they share their dreams and goals with, and then they forget to surround themselves with accountability and support and help because you will not get there on your own. So that is today's motivation message. Start to think that way as you put your goals together. Make sure your mindset matches the mindset of the people you share your dreams with, or if it doesn't because you're working on up-leveling your, your mindset, then surround yourself with people that you want to emulate. Surround yourself with people that want, that you know you can go to the next level with because they've already been there. It's very, very important. We are the sum of the people we spend the most time with. So I hope that helps you as you, as you list out in your mind your goals and your dreams for the next year, which is right around the corner. And also don't forget to listen to the podcast. It comes out uh, Tuesday mornings, 7 a.m. Eastern. Sign up for the summit. I'm gonna put the link in this post and I'll let you know too as well when my particular session is up. Don't forget to invite people to the Facebook group. We are growing a community here that's really important. We are growing a community to help each other. And 2020 is gonna be a big year because we're gonna launch some, some things within the Facebook group, opportunities for you to master your mindset and reach your goals. I want your life to be different in 2020. God bless all of you, have a great week, and we'll see you online.